All right, so the first step that we have in starting any machine learning or data analysis within the Python is to get the integrated development environment or in this case, Jupyter Notebook. So Jupyter Notebook is something which is given to us by Anaconda and the website name as you can see is anaconda.com. So from this website, what you can do is go to this download option. Once you click on the download, the information is given to you about uh, Anaconda distribution, first of all, uh, and it's it's saying that the world's most popular Python R data science platform, and that's absolutely in my in my view it is right because I really like coding in Anaconda or in Jupyter Notebook as compared to any other, and as you can see, it comes up or by default it downloads and installs all of these different libraries like uh, numpy scipy uh, bokeh dask pandas very very important pandas and numpy is like absolutely important and then matplotlib for visualization and uh, scikit learn is something which you need for machine learning and all of that is available by default to you you don't have to worry about any other installation and that's like covering up almost 95 to 99 percent of your task and everything which I will be doing in this course so first option is that for Mac OS if you want the installation you can get it or for Windows if you want you can get the Windows uh, version 3.7 and 2.7 recommendation is that you get it 3.7 so once you click on the download option and that is for windows as you can see i've selected that it will ask you where do you want to save it and as you can see it is a simple windows application any other application that you might have uh, downloaded or installed it earlier so maybe within the download you can click on download and click save and it will take some time as you can see it is 486 mb in my case it is taking like somewhere around 30 seconds so it depends on your internet speed about how much time it will going to take but once it is downloaded and installed uh, downloaded you can install it by clicking it over here and the instructions are pretty much the standard instruction which is like uh, accepting all these standard uh, uh, settings that's uh, something which is recommended by Anaconda until unless you are really sure that you want some custom settings so in this case now uh, once as you can see it is uh, downloaded but since I have already installed so I will not go ahead and do the installation in my case I have accepted all these standard libraries all the standard settings and that's what I will recommend for any beginner like you that you go ahead and install whether on Windows or on Mac OS or on Linux with your standard settings and once it is there once it is downloaded and installed what you can do is go into the start as you can see I'm using Jupyter uh, the Windows 10 so I will say J Y P U T E R or I can say Anaconda and over here I get the options for different Anaconda like Anaconda Navigator, Anaconda Cloud and uh, anaconda uh, distribution which i just downloaded so it's basically jupy so jupy and here is the jupyter notebook which i will be using in my uh, entire this course so once i click over here you will see that uh, a command prompt has come which is basically invoking the session and as you can see it is a web-based session that is uh, given by Anaconda and uh, over here you can see that there are multiple folders that I have created so how you can do that is by coming over here click new and folder uh, or if you directly want to create a Python file from the same new option you can create a Python file once you click it over here a new Python file it will be open for you and uh, its name you can click over here and change the name my first python file or whatever name that you want to give or first underscore program okay so this is something which is now renamed and you can start coding right from here and in the next in the upcoming videos you will see that uh, uh, we are importing the file which is a process for uh, 
uh, working with any data science project and then you know manipulating that file visualizing that file applying machine learning algorithms so on and so forth all that list you can find it there in the description if you directly want to jump on anything and then finally the last thing the one mistake which ev even the experienced programmer up until like some time back uh, even I have done that is simply closing the Jupyter Notebook, which you should not do. What you need to do whenever you are done with your program or you want to close your program, come to the file and click on close and halt. And the reason is that uh, if you are closing it directly from here, it will close the tab but it will not close the file or the processes that it is running within the file and because of that it may happen that your system or your file is using a lot of systems memory or your servers resources so always always recommend that you go in file and click on close and halt so that's about it and let's start our journey by importing the data in the next video